it's time to trim the body of our teapot. So far, you've seen me throw the body, make the lid, and make the spout, and let me just say, I am shocked by how invested y'all have been in the series. When I started it, I knew it was going to be a lot of work for what I thought was a very small and niche audience. But apparently, a lot of y'all, potters or not, have been enjoying learning about this process, which makes me so incredibly happy. I seem to be keeping many of you on the edge of your seats with the daily releases, and I promise I am not splitting this process into five separate videos just to tease you. Making a teapot is literally just that involved. When you trim porcelain at just the right level of leather hard, it trims like butter and you get these beautifully satisfying ribbons. I highly recommend buying nice and sharp trimming tools as it makes a huge difference with this process. I often get asked how I know how far to trim, and the answer is I don't always know, and I trim through pots all the time. I also tap the bottom, and basically I can tell roughly how thick it is based on its percussiveness. I throw on a spiral and I sign it, and then this teapot is finally ready for assembly, which I will be showing you guys tomorrow.